Well, anyone who watched Tom Aspinall work in training and during his amateur and early pro career felt like they were looking at a future UFC heavyweight champion. Tom Aspinall has every skill you would want from a big man. Moves exceedingly well. His speed is going to be a real problem in, in theory for the opposition tonight. And most of these heavyweights just are not as fleet of foot. That says nothing of his grappling game. This is the longtime grappling coach for Team Calvana. He has every skill in his mixed martial arts arsenal. And scary proposition for the rest of the heavyweight division. He ain't get worse. So here he is, one of the consensus greatest of all time, the newly minted UFC heavyweight champion, John Bones Jones. And I think by and large, this sport is better when he is in it. Tonight, he tries to successfully defend his UFC heavyweight title. Yeah, John Jones at heavyweight is something that we have waited for for a really long time. And to say that he delivered would be a massive understatement as he won the fight in the way that he did. John Jones, once again, building on such a strong legacy. If you guys relish fight night as much as John Jones, you see him grinning ear to ear as soon as he hits the tunnel. We'll see how it goes in title defense number one. John Jones, one of the greatest of all time, has stepped inside the octagon once again. Johnny Bones is ready to fight. Tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now to get us started, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Tom Aspinall. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. John Bones Jones! And there's Herb Dean. Right, he will right. handle the action inside right. the octagon. Right. So here's the former UFC light heavyweight champion, John Jones. In nearly every fight, he's going to have a massive reach advantage. So we'll see what he chooses to do here in the early going, if he leans on the grappling or the wrestling. But that reach is a very powerful thing in modern-day mixed martial arts. It's one thing to have a reach advantage. It's another thing to use it as masterfully as John Jones has done in the past. Jones gets the early takedown. Nice start to the round for him. Let's see what he can do it. Early connection with the left from the champ. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission of big ground and pop. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. In the half guard. Great grounded palm by this man.
Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the map? Aspinall's trying for a submission here. Oh, that guillotine choke is tight. And a lot of good movement. This is a terrible position. Moving his head here on the ground, Shane. I mean, this guy is very active off of his back. It helps him to evade those strikes. Posture's up now. Oh, and delivers. Huge punch to the head there. Big elbow there, Lance. You can't take all those unanswered strikes. They don't have to be that damaging. Yeah. You just got to move. Just over two minutes now to go. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. Oh, postures up and delivers a big ground and pound strike to the head. Nicely done there by Aspinall. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. All right, inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out. Our guy starts to attack triangle. Ooh, arms in tight. Wow, somehow, some way, he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done, John, but he was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. Champ, these submission setups aren't that bad, but he keeps getting denied. Yeah, because... He's not panicking. He's taking his time. He knows what to do whenever something is coming in his direction. It's beautiful. It's beautiful to watch a guy comfortable even when he's under attack. Jones is back in side control. You have to be so well rounded once you get to the top of these divisions. You cannot just be a knockout guy. You got to be able to change it up if you find yourself in this situation that he's in right now. Might be a submission attempt here, Chan. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Aspinall's back into full guard. Not there yet, but might get the submission here shortly. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Johnny Bone. Oh, he's got his back. Oh, reverses the position now. Outstanding work on the ground by Jones. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Jones is in half guard. Oh. Five minutes in the books. While we look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC, a lot of good action for fight fans over those five minutes. I mean, high pace, high intensity, all action first round. Both landed multiple strikes. What a great round of fighting. Ready. Ready. Go. All right, here we go with round two. All right, DC's back from the can as we get this next round underway, and his striking in that previous round was so good. I got tired just watching that. I mean, he did a great job of landing strikes. Not only just punches, not only just strikes, there were significant strikes. A lot of punches outside of the jab. I've gotten in trouble a lot of times about what's significant and what's not. Right. But I'm telling you, he landed a lot of punches that were very easy to make that determination. Leave the stack guys alone. Leave them alone, man. Over and over, I get drunk. Maybe <laughs> leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Oh, massive knee to the body. That can't feel good. Well, John Jones showing you some of those new weapons here tonight. Get it, jump. He's getting very tight. Great submission defense. He's working on the arm bar. Ooh, looks like it.
it might be locked in. Once he gets you going, he's got so many ways to finish arm bars. Okay, he's got it. That's it. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and the show in that defense. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Working from the top here, nice ground and pound by Johnny Bone. Just over three minutes to go. Postures up and lands a huge head strike there. Nicely done by Espinal. Oh, now he's gonna find himself in a little more danger. Jones is right back to the full mount. He's gotta be careful here. And very effective with the ground and pound. is looking to pass out of the half guard here and get that side control, but he is denied by the opposition. And there you go, again, half guard. Oh, he reversed position there on the ground, and he's now in the dominant position. Oh, nice transition there. You call that a reversal? Yeah, you turn your defense into offense. Defensively, you switch position, and you go right on the offensive. That's exactly what he did. Under two minutes now to go. Jones is back in full mouth. He's got to be careful here. Constantly a moving target. Aspinall's in half guard now. Top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. All right, try to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Under a minute now to go round two. Drops down inside the now close. Oh, he's got a choke. That guillotine is tight. You better protect your neck when you fight this guy because he's got the guillotine. Oh, he's out. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. He's doing a really good job of putting himself in position. On oh, another punch on the ground, gets through. May need some defense here. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. 15 seconds to go. Finish, 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 finish. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. These ground strikes are starting to add up. Ah. Two rounds in the books. Ah. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Shows him the left and then follows it up with a right. Nice one-two punch there by Aspinall. Oh, big right hand, yes. Oh, he's stuck in the guillotine. 
Oh, it's getting deep now, DC. He's got a fan on his hands now. Good job by the champ there. Sliding back out. Oh, good defense, yes. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side underhook. This is a great position for a top fighter. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Jones. Oh, another strike lands from the top. Oh, and there it is. Was only a matter of time. That ground strike has cut him open. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Block. he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Just over three minutes to go now. Well, ground and pound 101, and now you start to see some swelling appear. Side control is pretty safe there. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Johnny Bone. Scramble and go! Scramble Great defense by the defensive fighter. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Oh, you gotta love the ground and pound strikes here. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy, watch on bar here. Oh, he's got that arm tight now. Starting to get it in there deep. Working hard for the arm bar. He's got to get his hands unlocked if he wants to find his finish. Oh, man, that was sweet. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Jones. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. Jones is in half court. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defense. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempts to get past his guard. Great submission defense. Beautiful ground strikes landed. Full guard now, DC. For the top fighter, you gotta be very careful because most submissions come from the full guard. So advance to half. Try to build posture, but if you're the bottom person, the moment your opponent tries to move to the next position, build a shield. Kick off the hips and get back to your feet. Now he's on top, exactly where he wanted to go. Oh, right into mouth. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted, he's been beaten. Oh, that's how you do it. Posture's up and lands to the head. The ground strikes starting to pile up. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Fifteen seconds. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get up and hit to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's gotta get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward.
All right, so back to the stools we go. They say defense wins championships, and he has not defended well tonight. He isn't trying, or at least it doesn't seem like he's trying. He has got to move his head. He's trying to react when the punch is already coming, and that's not working. If he takes many Good more fight. of these shots, this Good. fight is going to be stopped due to this one. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter? Oh, guillotine, guillotine here. Oh, nice guillotine there. Oh, what a beautiful counter to the guillotine there. Inside now. got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Aspinall's back in side control here. Oh, in good position to rip off a Kamora here. Oh, that looks tight. No, he's out. The fight's gonna continue. Oh, my goodness. I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. All right, has the guard closed here. Lands the ground and pound strike. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Aspen. He's very accurate in the ground and pound and is showing because he's landing so consistently. Oh, great job by him there to reverse things and get the dominant position. Hey, scramble, get up. Scramble, scramble, get up. Aspinall's attempting a triangle here. Let's see if he can finish the deal. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. And attack an armbar. Oh, somehow, some way, he got out. These guys are back and forth in submission defense. Wins this transition. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Oh, that cut is getting worse with every passing ground strike as he lands again. Under three minutes here to go in the round. Let's go. All right, north-south position now. We'll see who transitions first. Good work from the top here by Johnny Bone. All right, so he can't get it here again. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. Jones is in half goal. Close guard now. Great defense by this fighter. Great shots in the top position. And there it is. Another strike gets through on the ground. He's past the half guard. Trying to guard pass here. Not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Under two minutes now to go. Working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jujitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Jones is back to the side control now. Hard well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. back in full goal. Trying for a submission here. Oh, that looks tight. Oh, great submission defense. Grounded pound strike there now. Oh, huge pop from the crowd as the fighters get back up to their feet. I mean, you and I love a good grappling match, but these fighters came to see knockouts. Yeah, the, the fans came to see them knock each other out, and that's what they're going to get. All the grappling was beautiful to watch, Sean. But ultimately, it is the striking that people show up. Aspinall's eye looks so swollen now, you've got to at least speculate as to whether or not that is a fractured orbital. Oh, making this clinch work now. Lands the punch there. All right, so he gets the takedown late in the round here, DC. We'll see what he can do. Timed it perfect. This will leave an impression on the judge's mind. And as his opponent, you get back to your feet right away because you can 
also sway the judges by getting back up to your feet and maybe exploding with one last flurry. Aspinall's in half guard. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. Jones is back in half guard. He's very comfortable here. Uh, 20 minutes in the uh, can, five to go. All right, so the fighters head back to the stools, and hopefully this fight can continue. That is a severe cut. We'll see if the cut man can do some good work here. All right, back to the stools we go, and it's starting to look like a second mouth on his cheek. <laughs> yeah, it looks terrible. I mean, the guy is getting hit with big shots, one big enough to open up a nasty cut on his cheek. While it's in a better spot, it still is very difficult to deal with. Like, if he absorbs another strike on that cheek, he might actually be able to eat through that cut <laughs> on his Ready cheek. Ready to fight. I'm just saying. Ready. He's got a big mouth. Good. <laughs> All right, next round is underway. These guys still look pretty fresh to me. We know cardio is king in MMA, and these guys have it for days. They have cardio for days. You saw the work rate of the previous round. Let's see if it continues as we start the next round. I'm not sure that his face could be much more swollen at this point. He's not that guard. You gotta get the high guard. I mean, at this point, John, you gotta forget everything else and get the guard up high, keep the elbows in tight, and try to make sure that nothing lands clean on your face. Every time, you're gonna just get more and more swollen. Oh, back up again. You gotta like that. Jones is tough as it gets, but how about the size of that bruise starting to form on his right side? Nice. Lands a nasty body kick. Oh, nice. Nice takedown. Posture's up now. That's a vicious head strike. How'd he take it? Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Oh, nice movement to avoid that strike coming down. Outstanding pressure from top position here by Aspinall. Nice positional control here. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. These are big shots, and they're not glancing blows. When he's throwing, he is landing so clean that his head is starting off the mat. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Changing the position. from the crowd as they get back to their feet after a pretty scintillating grappling battle there on the ground. Well, it's an educated crowd, John. They appreciated all the grappling exchanges and how, how skilled both of these men are. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Keep on the leg level team. He passes to half guard. Aspinall's eye is essentially swollen shut at this point in time, and I'm not sure there's any end swell in the building that's going to open that eye back up. They might stop this fight. Good movement defensively here on the ground by Jones. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Jones's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is. Starting to bleed a little bit now. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. 
great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Aspinall. Another strike gets through from the top position. He set that for some attempt. Ooh, that looks wicked tight. It's getting tight now. He's advancing. You gotta be kidding me. How did he get out? He just stayed calm. He's able to withstand the fire. Now he finds himself out and safe. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Jones. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Jones' eye is closing up. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. Oh, oh, out action right through the final minute. Nobody in this arena is sitting down. What a fight. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. For the winner, by split decision, and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, John Bones All right, so you heard it there from Bruce. Congratulations to John Jones, your winner tonight by decision. Had to dig deep at times against a credentialed opponent, but uh, result usually the same, a W for Johnny Bones Jones. Championship medal is what this guy has built his entire career on, his ability to withstand the pressure of the big moment. Once again, in the big moment, he thrives and wins another massive decision over another very tough opponent. Yeah, a lot of people didn't like this matchup for him, and uh, those people are ripping up their betting tickets as we speak. Congratulations to John Jones.